For a home to be passive house, it also needs to be airtight. Some people have a misconception that a, an airtight building or an airtight home is a stuffy home. Joseph, what's your opinion on this? If you create a completely airtight enclosure and you try to live and work in there, it will be stuffy and stale for sure. Intuitively, we understand that. But it is not the case for passive house because passive house require the building to be ventilated. Usually that is achieved by running a dedicated mechanical system with heat recovery. Yep. So in a passive house, you almost guaranteed to have sufficient fresh air supplied to where you need it, when you need it. So what we're talking about is constant exhausting in your bathrooms, toilets and laundries and, and kitchen. kitchen. And then constant supply air to your family room, living room, and most importantly, our bedrooms. Yes, that's exactly correct. Plus, in case you have power failure and the mechanical system don't run mm. in a passive house, you can always open those windows. Mm -hmm. There is a very big misconception. A lot of people think you can't open any window in a passive house and that's completely incorrect. Yep you can still open the window like in a normal house. But when they do close, they're a lot more airtight. You can choose to shut it. It's, if I use an analogy, passive house is like a convertible hard top car. You can choose to open it or close it. But a leaky home in a traditional way is like an open top car. In case of rain, you have no way to shut it. So basically that argument is completely upside down and the reality is, is that passive house indoor air quality is far superior than ordinarily built homes in Australia. That's true, that's very true. <laughs>